A very common case is to forget your password. And Superbase has a method to help you to recover your password. On the official documentation, we've got forgotten password email here. And we can see that we have this method, reset password for email. We only need the email of your user to recover the password. However, how does it work? Well, it's really easy. You have first to get a recover page. So here on my application, on the view application that you can find in the comments down below, you have here a recover page. And on this recover page, which looks like this, you've got an email to enter and a send method. I'm using this method here, reset password for email, and it's going to trigger uh, uh, actually an email that is going to be sent from Superbase to the current email, okay? Then once logged in, you should direct the user to a new password form. So basically from here, when I'm going to enter my email, and we can look a little bit at the code. What I did here, I just looked at the validate email uh, method that we've got. So if you go on the composable, we've got this method that help us to uh, check first if it's an email or not. So if we get here and we click, we see that we've got an error. If we don't enter a basic email also, if we try to trigger it with something else, it's not gonna work. Here it's going to work, so I'm not going to trigger it. It's going to call reset password for email from the model that we've got down here. So we will receive an email that help us to recover the password. However, this is not the end of the process. Actually before you should create another route and this route is supposed to be an update route. So basically here we've got this view which tell us to update our user. And it said here, you should use a update user uh, view below to save the new password. And down there, we've got this solution. We've got this update user uh, method. This update user method should be in another view than your recover view. So I'm um, just created under the profile folder, an update view, which does exactly the same as the recover except that we call the update user method and we pass the email and a new password, all right? So basically it does almost the same. But here, this is the view that will be actually in the link of the email. So we need to change the link of our email. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to go on email templates here and I'm going to go on reset password because this is where I want to lead. And remember me, I got a specific pass and on my application, the specific pass is profile slash update. If I go on my router here, my update profile, so my update user is on the pass profile update. So remember the confirmation URL and I will make another listen just after on this. Here leads to localhost 3000. But me, I want to go on localhost 3000 slash profile slash update. So what I need to do is to put here on my reset password slash profile slash update because the link on my email has to go to this pass. Later, we will change the confirmation URL for the production URL. So what I can do here is to use the email of the current user. Or if I want, I can click here and click on send password recovery. So I'm just going to copy paste this and I'm going to use my app, of course, because I created it for, the, for this. So I get back here, I'm going to put this. And when I click loading, successfully reset password. So I'm going to go on my email, I'm going to update. And I just received an email and I got to click here. And when I'm going to click here, we are going to look at the pass. I just open my URL, and as you can see, I've been redirected immediately up there. So what I need to do here is to type the same email as I had. So I had this one, okay, yopmail.com. And under here, I'm going to put my new password, okay. I'm going to click on update, and there we go. I am successfully updated. In short, I have a recover page with the method reset password email. I enter my email, I click on send it's going to send me an email. But before, I need to go on reset password on the authentication email template tab 
and put the link where I want to lead my reset password link to. Once it's done, I receive an email. I click on reset password. On reset password, I arrive on the page to update my password. I can click and save my new password. 